Hello everyone, I am Rakesh Negi and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Aviator Updates. Today we are going to discuss about different specifications of the engine used on Airbus 320. Namely, V2500 engine, CFM International Leap 1A engine and Pratt & Whitney 110G engines. So let's start. Disclaimer. The images or content used in this presentation do not belong to me. All of it is a compilation and reproduction of information from different books and manuals. This has been done to make the understanding of topics simpler. I do not recommend anyone to use this information in any practical or real world scenarios. So let's start. So let us start discussing the specifications of the types of engines i.e. V2500, CFM International Leap 1A and Pratt & Whitney 110G engines. So as you can see, the IAE V2500 engine is a two-shaft high-bypass turbofan engine. Okay. Next about CFM, it is a high-bypass turbofan engine. And if you talk about Pratt & Whitney, it is a high-bypass geared turbofan engine. In this engine, the fan is geared using FDGS fan drive gear system. Next, manufacture. Manufacture of IA engines is International Aero Engines. For CFM International Leap 1A engine, the manufacturer is CFM International. And for Pratt and Whitney, the manufacturer is Pratt and Whitney, as the name says. The first run of IAE V2500 engine was in 1987. Next, for CFM International Leap 1A engine, first run was in September 2013 and for Pratt & Whitney 110G engine, first run was in November 2007. So let's start discussing about the bypass ratio. And bypass ratio is the ratio of air passing around the core of engine to the air passing through the core of engine. So in case of IAE V2500 engine, the bypass ratio is 5.4 is to 1. For CFM International Leap 1A engine, the bypass ratio is 11 is to 1. It is greater than IAE V2500 and highest is of Pratt & Whitney engines that is 12.5 is to 1. Next, let's talk about the compression of these engines. The compression of IAE V2500 engine has one fan four stage low pressure compression and 10 stage high pressure compression. In case of CFM International Leap 1A engine, the compression has one fan, three stage low pressure compression and 10 stage high pressure compression. In case of Pratt & Whitney engines, the compression has one geared fan that is employing FDGS that is fan drive gear system, a three stage low pressure compression under and 8 stage high pressure compressor. All these type of compressors are of axial flow type. Next, let's talk about the turbine specification. For IAE V2500, the turbine specification is 2 stage high pressure turbine and 5 stage low pressure turbine. In case of CFM International, the turbine specification is 2 stage high pressure turbine and 7 stage low pressure turbine. Here the number of high pressure stages are more if we compare it with IAE engine. Next, in case of Pratt & Whitney 110G engines, the turbine specification is two stage high pressure turbine and three stage low pressure turbine. Okay, so the highest number of low pressure turbine stages are with CFM International Leap 1A engine. Next, let's discuss about the fan diameter. For IAE V2500, the fan diameter is 62.5 inch whereas for CFM International the fan diameter is 78 inch which is bigger than IAE V2500 and the fan diameter of Pratt & Whitney 110G engine is 81 inch which is the biggest. Now let's talk about the thrust specification. The thrust rating of IAE V2500 engine is maximum 26,600 pounds. Whereas for CFM International Leap 1A engine, the maximum thrust is 30, 35,000 pounds and for Pratt & Whitney 110G engine, the maximum thrust is 
33,000 pounds. So the highest thrust rating is of CFM International Leap 1A engines. So the applications of these engines are IA V2500 engine. It is used in Airbus 320CEO which stands for current engine option excluding Airbus 318. It is also used in Amperior KC390 and it is also used in MC Donald Douglas MD-90 aircraft. The application of CFM International Leap 1A engine is in Airbus 320 NEO family. NEO stands for New Engine Option. Next, Pratt & Whitney 110G has its application on Airbus 320 NEO. So you must be knowing that the latest engine which are on Airbus C20 is CFM International Leap 1A engine. So now I'll show some pictures of IA engine, CFM International Leap 1A engine and Pratt and Besides these engines, one more engine by the name CFM 56-5B is also installed in Airbus 320 aircraft. So let's first see IA V2500 engine. So let's start. So as you can see, this is a cut view of V2500 IA engine. V2500 may have some variations depending on the DAS numbers. So I'll tell you some of the basic parts of this engine. This is the spinner, this is the fan, this is the low pressure compressor which is larger in diameter. This is high pressure compressor which is smaller in diameter. This area is of the combustion chamber. These stages are of the high pressure turbine which are smaller in diameter. And these stages are of the low pressure turbine which is larger in diameter. Let's see another picture. So as you can see, this is CFM International Leap 1A engine. Leap stands for Leading Edge Aviation Propulsion. And the full specification is Leap 1A26 engine. So this is the latest engine which is installed in Airbus 320 Neo. So here also you can see this is the spinner. This is the fan you can see over here. Here is the low pressure compressor, then high pressure compressor, then combustion chamber, then high pressure turbine and then and low pressure turbine let's see the other picture so in this picture as you can see we are having Pratt & Whitney 110G engine so you can see how the engine looks like here again we are having the spinner we are having the fan here these are the fan blades so inside this casing we are having the compressor which is the low pressure compressor just next to it we are having the high pressure compressor this area is of the combustion chamber the combustion chamber is not clearly visible over here because of the other accessories which are mounted on the periphery of this engine next in this area we are having high pressure turbine and the other area we are having the low pressure turbine so i hope you have enjoyed learning the specifications of these three type of engines namely v2500 engine cfm international leap 1A engine and Pratt & Whitney 1100G engines. So I hope you have enjoyed learning today's topic. We'll come up again with a new topic in the next class. Till then, enjoy learning. Thank you.